Welcome to Femke Monday. Today we'll talk about prompting the data agent. This is a very interesting subject which was announced on the recent Fabcom. What is this exactly? Data agents are the former AI skills. So it exists for a while. They were created as AI skills and in Fabcom it was announced that transformation of AI skills in data agents. They were renamed to data agents. Wait, wait, wait. If this exists for so long, why I never talked about this during a Fabric Monday video? Because until now, we couldn't really have a control over what AI skills were doing. It was not possible to give exactly instructions about how AI skills should look to our data. And this is what changed in data agents and made the data agents way more powerful. First, it's important to understand the requirements. It needs an F64 capacity. The announcement that AI features will work with any capacity, it is for copilot, not for special AI features like the data agents. The data agents require an F64. There is a configuration in the admin portal for data agents. It needs to be enabled. There is a copilot configuration, which it needs to be enabled. And there is a configuration to allow the data to be processed in different geographical regions. It also needs to be enabled. These configurations, data agent configuration enabled, copilot configuration needs to be enabled, and processing data in a different geographical region needs to be enabled. These are the three configurations which require to be enabled. Let's see a demonstration about how the data agents work. Here I'm in Power BI, Power BI portal, a workspace called AI Test, and this workspace is linked to a Fabric capacity. And I will create a new data agent. Data agent. So, new data agent. Let's give a name to this agent. My agent. Create. We need to link the agent with data sources, data sources which will be used to feed the agent and allow the agent to answer questions. So I can click on data source and I will link this agent with a custo database, real house. This custo database has a table called taxi rides. These are the taxi rides happening in New York. This is the sample table which is ingested when we create a sample for real-time ingestion and use the sample data. This is one of the sample tables. Then what's most interesting is that we have now the option to set data agent instructions. Before setting the data agent instructions, I need to click on this get started. In fact, this get started keeps annoying us. Then the chat space opens and I can click in data agent instruction. Let's try to ask something to the data agent. I can mark the table taxi rights and ask something. For example, could you tell me which location has the most pickups at noon? Which location in New York the taxi rides has, have the most pickups at noon? So I can try this question. So the data agent is explaining in the answer that it seems that there is no data actually answering our questions. But if you actually understand what's happening, this query is completely wrong, it's not what I asked it exactly. So let's give the data agent some instructions. Let's take a look on these instructions I included here. The table taxi rides that describes taxi rides in New York. The taxi ride starts at the pickup location and ends at the top of location. So I'm explaining the logic of these two fields. The time of the taxi rides starts at the pickup date time and ends at the top of date time. 
And analysis based on the pickup or drop, drop of time must be done independent of the day itself based on the time for example if i would like to see which location has the most pickups at noon i don't want to see this for a specific day i want to see this for noon on any day so these are the instructions i gave to the data agent to my data agent let's now repeat the question let's ask the question again the same question could you tell me which location had the most pickups at noon? But with the instructions now. And here is the answer. The location with the most pickups at noon is the location number 236 with 3588 pickups. I can also see the details about the code used to locate this information to find the location with the most pickups at noon. Now that we have our data agent configured, of course it requires a lot more, but let's consider it's configured. We can publish the data agent. So I publish my agent. I can provide a description for my agent. Provides information about New York taxi rights publish successful publisher the data agent view publishing details so it gives me information about the publishing of this data agent and this information includes a url an api url which can be used to make questions to this data agent through an api why is this so important? Make questions to the data agent through an API. This is extremely important because since we can connect to the data agent through an API, this means that this data agent can work as an assistant for a bigger agent. We can use Azure, Azure AI Foundry to create a bigger agent and connect many assistants, getting data from many different locations, many different places. And this one in Fabric will be only one of the locations. Or we can create multiple ones, more than one data agent, and connect all them in a single agent built by Azure AI Foundry. This API capability is what gives lots of possibilities to the data agent feature. Of course, we'll see examples of this in future videos. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.